Hey guys, it's Athena. This is my response to week 16 of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. This week's question is, oh crap, I forgot what it was. What spiritual practice do you do most often, I think? Pretty sure if that's not it, that's the, that's the gist of it. Not 100% sure what the question means. So I'm just going to go with what my first instincts were. So the spiritual practices that I do most in my life, as mentioned, are divining through dreams and animals. And can I just take a moment here to tell you that, holy shit, the animal divining has been fantastic lately. I wish I could have gotten a picture of this and I couldn't. It was so awesome. Outside my kitchen window, we have these gigantic kitchen windows. And outside the window, on a branch, cardinals have been around a lot lately. And cardinals are kind of cool because one of their messages to you, if you do divine with animals, is that a loved one is visiting. Okay, so I don't know that this is a loved one because honestly, I've had a lot of male and females. I think I have a cardinal family right near my house to window so, last week probably like Wednesday or Thursday on the branch next to each other was a beautiful male and a equally beautiful female cardinal side by side and they were I don't know which one was feeding which one um, I'm pretty sure but I could be totally wrong I feel like the male is a pretty good father and that it he feeds his his lady and any babies but again I could be called totally wrong with that it looked as if the male were was feeding the female and he was putting seeds into her mouth so of course it looked like little lovebirds kissing it was so special I was overwhelmed with awesomeness and just kind of it, again it was last week was a cool week here uh, we had lots of weird weather from extreme cold to very warm back and forth back and forth we had snow last Saturday and it's April and I don't live in the part of the country where that's kind of normal it's weird here to have snow in April it's not as weird as it would have been back in Tennessee but it's pretty damn weird because I'm still technically in a southern state so due to this crazy erratic weather last week there were so many rainbows i took videos and pictures possibly i'll insert them here and i was overwhelmed with joy last week with the rainbows and then with all the cardinals and i finally learned i'm a little bit slow on the um identifying birds path I know a couple of them, a few now by sight, but I wanted to know when I hear them singing who I'm hearing. And the cardinal is extremely specific or easily identifiable. So now when I hear a cardinal singing, I find it quickly because the leaves are slow to grow around here. Spring has been taking her sweet time and um, I'll hear the cardinal song, which is very unique. We'll quickly find the cardinal, especially if it's male right there bright red spot up in the tree and so cardinals are really awesome um, this past week also i've had extremely at least two obvious very very memorable uh, lucid kind of dreams i guess they're not lucid in the sense that in a truly lucid dream you know you're dreaming and you're still asleep and you can control your surroundings they weren't that lucid i thought they were real when they were happening but They've been big enough that I had to write about them because they've been nightmares. And I've had two nightmares in the past couple months that feel like feel like they could be predictions to events. Uh, one involved a tornado, which, uh, which historically has been my stress dream, although I don't feel all that stressed lately. But I used to tornado and tornadoes and elevators were always like my stress dreams. But the other one was really out of character for me. I had at least a month ago, I guess. I'm off topic, so never mind. I'm gonna change the subject. So, divining with those crystals, as you know, um, as mentioned, one of my spirit spiritual practices every day is to wear specific crystals on me. I don't have a day 
ever when I'm not wearing a crystal. I mean, these earrings, you know, they're clear quartz. This necklace I wear almost every single day has a moonstone in the middle of it. So I'm always wearing crystals. Um, usually I have two going in the bra and bracelets and anklets and earrings, necklaces, what have you. It's a spiritual practice in the sense that I choose ones that are known to provide certain feelings or aspects, whether it be insight or love or protection or wisdom or creativity, whatever I'm, whatever I'm striving for that day, I choose the crystal that corresponds with it. If I need to be very articulate, I'm going to wear a blue stone that corresponds with the throat chakra. I have a giant blue lace agate I've mentioned that I will wear if it's really important. Uh, interviews, things like that. When I've had to sit in and be interviewed, I am definitely going to be wearing my blue lace agate. I'm definitely going to be carrying citrine and prosperous type stones that help me feel successful. Okay, so those are a few spiritual practices that I do on a daily basis or the, the random ding that my car does 20 minutes into my drive every single day. I am prepared for it and I pause what I'm listening to and I talk out loud. I've already told you this, my last video before the drawing video, uh, my last video, I talked about this already, but I, I show gratitude and I ask for um, guidance and I ask for healing for a couple people and safety and protection for a couple other people and just to be with me and can I just take a little moment here for anyone who's into the spirit guide conversation specifically the feather one this is the first time this has ever happened I realize it's been two or three weeks since I've seen a feather or found a feather or asked for one and so this past week on the way to school I think it was Wednesday at the end of my prayer I petitioned my spirit guide and as I've mentioned before I asked out loud because I it only works for me when I talk out loud to my spirit guide and I asked for a feather and I said in the next two to three days please 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 and I said a large one in the color black like we have lots of ravens around my school we have lots of all kinds of birds around my school but in my head I saw a large black feather and I said a large feather that's real and not on a picture and and um, 10 minutes later okay I parked the car I'm walking up the little ramp to the mod where I teach and um, there's the feather large black feather yay right eee, hold up it was and I keep gnarly ass ratty ass feather I do you know I don't judge I'm like thanks it was short notice this one I picked up and I was really, my very first response to it was awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's been like 15 minutes since I even talked to you. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Thank you. That was the last of the positive thoughts because as I walked up the rest of the ramp, got to my classroom, before I even got to the room and got the door unlocked, I was gagging. I was thinking I was going to throw up in the moment because it was so, so ragged and gnarly and coated in some kind of gross, grossness. Um, I think I felt like it was, it was, I couldn't keep it. I threw it in the garbage and that felt so disrespectful. But, um, you know, the thought is what counts. And I was thankful to my spirit guide again for giving me the feather. And I didn't specify that I wanted it to be clean and not um, corroded in funk. So that was my bad. And I threw it away. Yes, that felt extremely, extremely disrespectful and wrong. But it felt like a carcass. Like a mangled, diseased shat upon carcass so I couldn't keep it I, I literally I don't I don't dry heave usually in my day I'm not super picky and super prissy and easily grossed out but it was that day so okay there's that anything else to answer this question no there's nothing else I can add that's it my spiritual practice on a daily basis is divining is planning ahead with crystals and is my prayer and intentions and speaking with 
god, goddess, um, ancestors, and spirit, my spirit guides. This was quite lackluster. My apologies. There is a large part of me that I want to complete this weekly challenge. It's like a resolution that I want to keep. So this was one of those weeks, if I didn't have the resolutions, I'd probably skip it. And I'm gonna go ahead and say right now, next week is the, for the 17th week, is what does this time of year mean to you? And we just answered that a couple weeks ago. It's still spring. Uh, it's still early spring here. I'm still waiting for trees to grow. So it's still early spring. And so next week, it's going to be seriously short and half-assed. But I'm going to do it anyway because it's a personal goal for me. Okay? You guys have a lovely weekend and a wonderful week. Take care, guys.